Hey, young world, the world is yours. What it do? What's up, my people? Out there, it's your boy Big C. Checking in live. It's a hold on, wait a minute. It's a hostile takeover. We gotta cover that up. I work with the professional people, but I come up in there with that and this song. They gonna be like, "What's going on?" So I gotta, you know, cut it with some water. But anyway, man, today I want to speak about fear. How do you niggas is scared? You act like you're not. You got that internalized fear, you know. Fear of change. It's good to have fear sometimes. Fear is healthy to protect you. I have some, you know, I have some protective fear of, of losing, of uh, failing, of uh, upsetting myself, because, and, and those who love me, you know, disappointing myself and those who love me. So I gotta be on point, you know. But we gotta be, we can't be scared of change, man. You know, a lot of us took on habits and and, and ways of um, in the struggle of growing up. We took on these ways and these habits, and we internalized them in ourselves. And it, it's really it, it holds you back. For instance, like um, a lot of us don't want to go outside our bar natural hoods or our hood our, our um, neighborhoods or our communities because we have a fear of of coming in contact with situations that will make us lose our motherfucking mind and go to jail forever you know you know what I'm talking about racism stuff like that we have a fear of um what people think about us, you know, um, we have to stop, we have to worry about ourselves, we have to put that stuff to the side, man, and step outside our comfort zones, and go out and see different stuff, man, different things, different environments, learn different things, because, you know, you're inside the box, you gotta get out the damn box. Think outside the box, man. You know? You're not gonna learn and um, you're not gonna experience different stuff until you um, fight your fears, man. You know? And a lot of us, you know, we, we into these, you know, in our culture, we place barriers on ourselves, like, you know, we're supposed to do this, we're not supposed to study um, engineering, we're not supposed to study coding, man, niggas don't do that, niggas don't, niggas don't do no shit and try to get smart, niggas, we dug it out, that's stupid, you know, because in that dugging it out, you know, you, you limiting yourself, you know? If you're always going to need somebody else who got outside that box and studied and found something, you're going to need those people to help you. You look like a baby. You're going to have to hold their hand. Help. Show me what to do. You, you, as a man, we, I want to know what I'm supposed to... I want to know as much as information as possible. You know? This is a muscle, but this also, also is a computer. You know, I want to. I want to have a lot of data in my computer, man. A lot of information, man. I can cross-reference. You know what I'm saying? This my shit. Like I want my shit like Google. Google it, Chris. Mm. You know, I go. I go to that site in my brain. Okay, this is what you do with this. You know, that's why it's good to know properties. I went up to um, Calistoga and we was we was uh, researching. You know, because in my in my vacations, I like to go into the culture and, and and find out what they know. You know, and 
when I was looking at the, with the volcanoes, yeah, the earth has all the minerals, just like the universe have, has so many minerals and properties that, you know, we could use for our life, you know? So I was looking at that volcano, man, and um, the silica, which is silicone, and you know, if you know about um, chemicals, silicone um, is a hard, it hardens, you know, it, just like um, a lot of people, folks, they, they um, I mean, a, lot, a lot of the, the uh, playground stuff nowadays is made of silicone, and, and um, it's better, man, which one am I going, I'm going this one, it's better because, you know, nigga gets, it, they used to use wood and, and metal, motherfuckers get them, you ever got a, a splinter, you know, um, a, a, a metal splinter, god damn, you gotta go to the hospital and get surgery, so, the silicone was harder, just like that, but it, without all those hazards, so, yeah, you gotta know about stuff like that, man, you know, you gotta know, know about the electricity and, and, um, currents and, um, what food to eat, what food not to eat, um, if you want to have a good life, you know, unless you're just scared, you know, you don't want to know nothing, you want somebody to, you want to always, forever hold somebody's hand and tell them to lead, lead you like a child, you grown-ass men, man, stop being scared to live, stop being scared to change, you know, if you lived in the hood all your life, and, um, you did all that hood shit, you know, you don't have to keep doing that forever, you know? It, it, it comes a time when you mature and become an adult that you can basically guide your life any way you want to guide it, you know? You don't need alcohol and drugs to be happy. You know, a lot of people don't want to stop drinking, stop smoking, stop smoking cigarettes because it... it, it, it it helps them deal with sadness and, and struggle and pain and trauma, you know? But, you know, I got I got a couple months clean of drinking and smoking. I did that shit all my life since I was 12 years old, you know? I remember I hit a joint when I was seven. That's the first time I ever smoked some weed. My daddy let me hit the doobie. I like the way that shit tastes, and I've been smoking ever since. But I don't smoke no more. It's just, I got two months. I don't plan on going back to smoking and, and drinking and shit. You know, I feel much better. At this age, it's time. I'm 50 plus, so it's time. You know, it's time to cut down some of the hazards of my to my health at this age. And I was scared. You know, you don't want to admit it, but I was like, What's, what am I going to do? If I ain't smoking or drinking, you know? If my birthday come up, I ain't going to have no bottle? What the hell type of shit is that? So I was scared to step out of my comfort zone. But it's, it's strong. It's you're strong when you can do some shit like that. I used to do shit like in jail. I used to practice not talking to a motherfucker. <laughs> I don't want to talk to them dumb motherfuckers anyway, but I put plat I put um, toilet paper in my ears for a whole day, I ain't seeing none of nobody, I'm ignoring motherfuckers and everything, I was pissed off I was in jail, so I put toilet paper in my ears, and um, I practiced not saying nothing, that was a practice on discipline, a practice on discipline, right, and um, I, it made me stronger, it increased my discipline, increased my strength on um, doing shit that may be hard, you know? So I just I, I just jumped into it and did that hard shit until it became somewhat simple, a little bit easier, you know? So, yeah, man, practice on being strong, y'all. Stop being scared. Do exercises to increase your discipline. You know, because we can't keep asking people to take care of us. We gotta be men and women and take care of our own self. You know, we gotta know what to fucking do. You know, 
can't keep making these same mistakes and then complaining. Ain't nobody helping us. Ain't no way. What, did, what to do? Find out what to fucking do. Get, open up a book. You know, spend some time. Make some time throughout your, in your life where you study and find out. You know, break the cycle. Break the cha- chain of of um, dependency on another motherfucker. We shouldn't be dependent on nothing. We should be a self-sufficient black community. Because we see, you know, we see how they how they act towards us, you know. We see how they treat us. And we see how these um this country really want to um harm us when they had a majority. And that you know, they punk ass, they like to they like to bully on people when there's more if you are women and our kids and the old people, you know, they they, they come up missing, they come up you know, they do little sneaky shit um, when, the, when, the, when they, it's more of them and less of us. You know, it's a problem. So we got to get strong, man. That's all it is. Get strong. Stop being scared. Take care of yourself. God bless you. This big seed coming at you with a wise word. Wise words being spoken. Wisdom for the day. Y'all take care. God bless. Peace and blessings.